Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with <clears throat> Into the Scorpio Tarot 888. I hope everyone is doing amazing. All right, so we're going to get into this channel message reading. I'm not sure what's going to come out, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, Venus placement. Doesn't matter, the reading can resonate with you. And of course, if you are returning, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, so let's see what's going on for you. Spirit, angels, guides, and divine ancestors, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please return all dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits, online and offline, away from myself, my home, family. Return the energy back to sender, tenfold, so more to be, amen and amen. Oh, boy. So we have rock bottom. So someone is facing like karma, possibly jail time, legal issues, or their life is falling apart. Oh, so someone is in like a rock bottom energy ever since she may have, you know, sailed away, cut ties, moved on from them. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's see what rock bottom is about. Spirit, angels, and gods. Clarify rock bottom. Tell me more about rock bottom for Scorpio. Some new rising to placements. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Ever since you separated from someone, they've been going through it. Someone could be in jail or their life is just falling apart or dealing with karma. Tell me more. What is rock bottom? Yeah, because this four source is looking like someone is sitting somewhere, laying down somewhere. Mm, and they're very stressed out, worried, having anxiety. Hmm. It's weighing heavy on their shoulders. This karma, get, this karma is getting the best of someone. Whatever situation they're going through, since you guys separated, it's really been weighing heavy on their shoulders. They have a lot of sadness, guilt, remorse, and regret. What is the Four of Swords? Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. It's very stressful. Mm. Four of Swords when it comes to rock bottom. All right, so we have Cancer energy with the Chariot. So this could be a Cancer. Tell me more about Four Swords. Yeah, a lot of you guys have moved on. Hmm. This person could have uh, relocated. They're currently at a distance. Yeah, this is someone who may have walked away from you. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like someone is going through karma ever since they left. Caused a separation, moved away. Yeah, someone walked away from you, Scorpio. And I'm getting this like a cancer. Yeah. Wow. I feel like this caused you to pull back your energy and love yourself even more. What's the Ten of Wands when it comes to rock bottom? Mm. What's the Ten of Wands when it comes to rock bottom? Thank you. All right, Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the uh, Knight of Cups. Someone wants to apologize, maybe express their feelings and emotions, how they're feeling about this karma or that their life has fallen apart since they walked away. Hmm. Show me more. Kind of like it's going to love offer to you. Hmm. Thank you. Ooh. So we have the fool card in the reverse. So someone, in so many ways, they play themselves. Could be an Aries or Cancer. Hmm. It's like now they wanted to express how they feel. Come in, like I said, with this love offer and apology. Whatever it is, is some type of emotion that they're dealing with here. But with that fool card in reverse, this is someone who realized they made a silly decision by walking away, moving on. Whoever this is, this person has been stalking and watching you. You are this Queen of Wands. They've been watching you for a while. Seeing what you got going on. This is someone who wants to have another opportunity to explain themselves. To speak some type of truth. Be honest with you. But, but the thing is, you're a little afraid or guarded because this person was very sneaky and deceptive. And invested into another situation. Hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
All right, so tell me about the chariot energy for Scorpio. What is the chariot? Hold on one second first. Let me move this up. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, tell me about the chariot. What happened here, spirit? Yeah, it seems like there's a water sign here that wants to come towards you. Hold on. It's hard fill. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. So tell me about the chariot. the chariot okay all right so we got a masculine energy here the emperor hmm. someone could have strong aries in their chart yeah whoever this masculine is they want to come towards you hopefully to get your attention do whatever it takes to get your attention back. And see, now you're in that Nine of Pentacles energy. You're single, doing your own thing. This is someone who wants to apologize, wanted to put in some type of effort here. Hmm. Wow. So whoever this is, it's a masculine energy who may have walked away from you. What is the Eight of Cups? So whoever this is, they're facing some type of karma or their life is falling apart. Thank you. Yeah, this person, this masculine energy, this emperor walked away from a relationship, a soulmate connection, and caused this separation. Mm. Wow. Hmm. This person has a lot of emotions going on. So it looks like you guys were a family, possibly married or something like that. But this person walked away from a soulmate connection. What is the Knight of Cups? And of course, take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. So I'm getting an Aries or a Cancer here. What's the Knight of Cups? All right, so we have here Six of Pentacles. The only thing about this is this person wants to show emotions, you know, explain themselves or whatever is coming in this cup is something tied to emotions. But this is someone who breadcrumbed you before. It's almost like they're willing to say and do whatever it takes just to get your attention back because they're facing this rock bottom energy ever since you guys separated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like they don't have much to bring to this twin flame connection, this home, this relationship, this marriage. It's like they're wanting to start over. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's why it's going to be like one-sided because they're not bringing a lot to the relationship again. It's going to be one-sided. Yeah, what is the full card in the reverse when it comes to Ten of Wands and Rock Bottom? Yeah, they really don't have much to offer you, but maybe emotions, saying that they love you, they care. Mm. Now, this person could be wanting to put their part into it now. Instead of you being the one given to them, they could be wanting to give back to you. But who knows? What is the fool in the reverse? Thank you. Mm. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles. Yeah, someone is hitting rock bottom. Someone is going through like a crisis, struggling, may not have a place to live. Finances is a factor here. They're missing you. They feel foolish for their actions and what they have done. It's really weighing heavy on their shoulders because in so many ways they played themselves by walking away from this soulmate connection. And now they know that it's going to be a risk to come back towards this family, this marriage. You know, with you, it's stability, it's security. 
and they know that taking this action to come towards you is a risk. Yeah, because what they really want to do is reconcile. They want to come back together, start over, have a new beginning. But you've already cut them off, set some boundaries because they backstabbed and betrayed you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's giving them like a big wake up call that, you know, either you've already let them go, you surrendered, you gave it back to the universe here. And now this person is very emotional behind the scenes because now they're wanting to reconcile. They're in their feelings about it all with you. They wanted to reconcile with you, Scorpio, but you're standing firm with the strength card. You're standing your ground. Mm. Wow. You're standing your ground. Mm -hmm. Standing up for yourself. You're being strong. It's almost like you're being strong with your emotions, controlling your emotions. But wow, this person here is deep in their feelings. Yeah. There's a lot of emotions behind the scenes when it comes to reconciling with you. Wow, it's almost like they know they're going to have to really surrender to get your attention back. Yeah. All right, Collective, this is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.